What is up guys, Groge Gaming here, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. And today guys, I'm going to be showing you this deck, which is a Pekka Bandit Miner deck. Which might seem a bit crazy, but it definitely works. Um, the Pekka is so good for defending against big tanks, and just anything like a Hog Rider, a, ba a Battle Ram. And then you've got the Bandit, which applies so much pressure, and the Miner, which can chip down the towers. And uh, add into a huge push. And obviously the Baby Dragon, which is just so strong right now. And then these two cards, which you can get a lot of value out of by baiting out a log. And obviously the Dark Goblin's range just gives it that much value. And obviously the Lightning to protect the Pekka and the log. You know what the log does, everyone. And um, for anyone wondering what kind of free to play deck version of this you could do, you could probably go for something like this. Um, obviously, you don't have that direct minor damage onto the tower. But obviously the battle ram does apply a lot of pressure and the, so like a, a battle ram minions push could apply a lot of pressure and be pretty deadly. But that looks pretty strong overall. The top layer stays the same and then the, these three cards change. So that could be pretty effective if you wanted to give that a go and you don't have these legendary cards. Um, but first off what I want to do is open up this 12 win chest before we get into the actual deck guide. And this is my first 12 win Grand Challenge deck guide for a while, just because I've not been playing too many Grand Challenges. Obviously the Tornado is really strong, so that was uh, kind of irritating really, so I just slowed down a bit with the Grand Challenges, but now I'm back into it with the 12 wins. So we've got Heal, uh, Elixir Collector, Three Musks, Royal Giant, Bombers, Battle Ram, Barbarians, so we're going to get a bunch of gold from that, what do we get? Um, Pekka, Tombstone, Ice Spirit, oh Witch, and it looks like guys we're going to get a Legendary by the way that is flashing. Yes, yeah, so this is the new Legendary animation, what are we going to get? A Miner, yes, I keep getting Miners, it's 3 out of 20 to, for level 5 which is pretty insane. Actually what I will show is the original Splash Yard deck, so this God Loot guy. Because I know it's still an issue for people. It, it's an issue for me sometimes as well, depending on what deck I'm using. Um, but this deck deals with it pretty well. You can stop the tanks from crossing the bridge with your P.E.K.K.A. Just drop them on. Drop, them at, drop the P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge and stop those. Stop the Knight or the Bowler crossing. And then the Graveyard doesn't have a tank, which means you can clear it up pretty easily. So a bit of early pressure here. And I think my bandit gets a charge. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So I basically tried to clear up both sides over here. And what happens? Yeah, so <laughs> if I'd have put the Dark Goblin on the right, it would have actually cleared up the um, graveyard. So a little bit of a mistake there. I've gained a huge elixir lead. And I'm going to just go for a little push here and see what happens. Because I didn't think he would have a log or anything like that, but obviously he does a pretty good job there. So I thought about Pekka, but I decided to go for Bandit and then Baby Dragon to clear up his Baby Dragon. Because I knew it would turn into a quicker counter attack which would need an answer immediately. And then this this kind of Dark Goblin position was pretty decent as he couldn't really um, he couldn't really get the poison on it in time or anything like that and ended up using the graveyard which is, was a complete waste. Here we go, look at that Dark Goblin doing some serious work. So I got the Miner in front and that did so much damage guys. I don't even know how much, but oh, way over a thousand damage there from the Dark Goblin. So I thought he was going for a bit of a an opposite lane push, so I wasn't really sure what was going on. Just dropped down the bandit to tank. And we're going for a left side push here to put more pressure on him that he doesn't want to deal with. And look at that tower. 
<laughs> so that tower on the left went down from full to 850. And I knew he was going to come on the, this side, so I decided to drop the Dark Goblin at the back. And the Dark Goblin does so well against Graveyard, so um, I'd probably always save your Dark Goblin for Graveyard. And obviously put it in a position where it's not poisonable. So there we go, guys. So that's actually a pretty good matchup for this deck, to be honest, because you've got the P.E.K.K.A. for the big tanks, you've got the Dark Goblin for the Graveyard, which they can't really deal with, to be honest. Um, then obviously you've got the Goblin Gang if needed, the Baby Dragon clears up Graveyard, so you've got, you've got quite a few choices, guys. And what I want to do here, I've just been playing again, uh, we're just going to jump into some live games with this deck. Bilfs, good luck. Hopefully, oh, I probably should have gone the other side. Never mind. So, that, yeah, that collector's going to go down a little bit, which is not too bad at all. We're going to take out this battle ram as well. I don't think that was a well-timed battle ram, to be honest. Okay, we are safe, guys. So, this looks like possibly a three musk deck. Which is good because that's kind of what I wanted to show you. Um, let's go for a P.E.K.K.A. push. I'm going to show you what could happen if you do decide to go for a big P.E.K.K.A. push. I mean, it might work out. It might not. We will see. I'm not entirely sure how he is going to protect. Um, so what I'm going to do, actually, is keep that P.E.K.K.A. alive even longer. It's just lightening those guys. And then get a dart goblin behind. And obviously save my miner. Um, save my miner for the pump. And this is this is gonna get a swing, guys. Boom, take that. Um, so it does get onto the tower, but um Wow, he's going for a risky heal. Actually, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll give him that. And then we're gonna get pressure him even more because he used the heal. Dang. I thought he might have the knight back in rotation, but that's not too bad. Baby Dragon is going to get quite a bit of damage, to be honest. Two, three. Um, just get the Dark Goblin down, just to clear those up. And we're going to lighten in the Collector. And he's forced to arrow the Dark Goblin, which means our Goblin Gang should be pretty safe here. So we're going for a Pekka at the back to take out these three Musks when they come to us. And I think he's going to go for a Battle Ram on the other side. So this should be pretty good here. Don't forget he's got the Heal spell, which could be a bit of an issue. Possibly. Hopefully Dark Goblin. Yes, Dark Goblin does save us here. Okay, guys. So he's got to arrow the tower down. And I'm going to go for a minor. And yes, that's going to be a good game. Wow. Good game. So it's, it is always close against um, three Musk players. Just because the deck is the decks are so strong. Absolutely insane decks. I beat this guy here as well. Um, 988th in the world, currently 212th. Um, so we will actually take a look at that as well. We are going to show this three musk deck. Because I feel like three musks seem to be the meta in Grand Challenge. Um... So I definitely think it's worth showing different variations. So let's check out this clutch lightning here. I already threw it down. Because I kind of expected him to throw something down. And then whatever he threw down, I knew it would be good value, basically. So he does gain an elixir lead on us here. And I decide to pressure him in the opposite lane. And 
draw out a card from him and obviously chip down the tower as well. And check this out, guys. So that's that's now 12 elixir spent in that lane, and I clear it up with 7 on the P.E.K.K.A. and really don't take too much damage at all. And all he has for this push is a couple of minions. So obviously we're going to destroy that tower. And then it ends up being... I have the elixir lead, which is pretty crazy. So what I've been finding out is that it is definitely worth lightning, using the lightning on the elixir collector. Because then they can't actually gain a big elixir lead and you're able to take out the three musks in a different way basically. This was stupid. I'll hold my hands up to that. <laughs> I thought, hmm, can I take out... Can I take out the, um, the musketeer and then do more damage to the tower? And here what I decided to do was just throw a bandit down, which is then going to go back onto the barbarians and take those out. And we've got a pretty decent little push here and he's not got much to deal with it. So we're going to ignore those minions on the other side. And obviously lightning on... Well, I didn't quite get the three musks, but I tried my best. Pekka destroys Battle Ram. And then there isn't too much he can do. I'm surprised he didn't go for the other lane to take that out. But obviously I would have taken the, the second tower if we had longer. So, good win against a really good player. So, I'm happy with that, guys. So, I'm going to split Goblin Gang at the back. Throw down a Dark Goblin. And the bandit is going to get... Oh, I thought the bandit was actually going to get onto the tower then. That would have been really good. Actually, it is. Just about. Baby dragon is um, going to eventually get its way to the, the princess. And we're going to try and chip down this other tower. Oh, no. Well played. So we're going to apply more pressure here, and the bandit dashes onto the tower. I actually absolutely love that little guy. Um, so we're just going to continue to chip, and that's going to draw out a goblin gang. Whoops. Baby dragon here in case he drops princess. That's not too bad. Goblin Gang for the... Um... Oh, nice log there. So obviously Goblin Gang dealt with the, the Goblin Barrel pretty effectively. So these kind of games, I don't feel like um, the Pekka is going to be that useful unless I need to clear up the... Like that, actually. <laughs> oh god, probably shouldn't have done that. So, as I was talking about the P.E.K.K.A, I just thought, hmm, I'm going to throw it down. Nice and easy there. Okay, so we're going to continually chip down the tower.
And obviously I'm going to save the log for the Goblin Barrel. So he's trying to do the sneaky trick, but I'm not going to be fooled by that, my friend. So we need one more here. And obviously he's getting pretty close. So this actually might get to the tower. I'm going to save my log, in, in fact. Okay, now I'm going to use... Now I'm going to use the log. Clutch, yes. <laughs> oh, good game. So guys, I'm on 10-2 at the minute. I'm just plowing through this to try and get another 12 wins. Just so you can see how strong the deck is. 10, 12 wins and then um, 10 is pretty good. So we'll go for a bandit here and then see what happens. Okay, so pretty pretty wise wise choice there by that guy. By Sole. So one goblin is actually going to do a little bit of uh, damage for me there. And then I'm going to drop a Pekka. And a baby dragon is actually needed as well. Just because those minions are very dangerous indeed. So. Overall, a pretty average start to the game, I would say. Um, I'm going to try and chip him down. And that's going to get even more damage as the lightning stunned the tower. But he's going to have a, a huge elixir lead on me. Maybe five. Four. So, three and a half. So, um... I'm going to rely on this bandit on the right to help me out a serious amount. Okay, so I can take... I can definitely take the damage of one musketeer. That is fine. So don't forget he's got minion horde. Um, obviously goblin gang. And a lot of pesky stuff here. So is he going to want to get the battle ram down again? I'm not entirely sure. However, we're getting the bandit down just to make sure here. And we're probably going to use um, the miner here to tank for stuff. Yes, yeah, so the bandit does a decent amount of work for us. And then we're going to get the P.E.K.K.A. down on these three musks. And we've got a few goblins defending both sides, so... Trying to be sneaky and take out um, my Pekka, but I'm not going to allow it. So that was actually pretty good, um, a pretty good attack for him. But hopefully, I'm going to get the log in there preemptively, which actually works out pretty well. And is the bandit going to dash to the tower? Yes, so we're going to take it out. Oh. Good game. <laughs> so the bandit was um, the MVP there. Lovely stuff. 11-2 here, guys. So that's 12 and then 11. And then let's see if we can win this one. I believe this guy is going to be good. Aura Gaming, judging by the clan. I've actually been recording for almost an hour now because obviously I've been playing. I pretty much played the... The, um, the second Grand Challenge straight... Straight away. So obviously going to get the baby dragon down there for the um, for the minions. And this is not a good position to be in. Um, that wasn't too bad, I guess. <laughs> so the Pekka cost me seven, and he spent eight, basically.
So this is going to be a pretty de pretty um, interesting deck to face. Um, Miner, Poison, Minions, both Minions, uh, Giant, Night Witch. So my P.E.K.K.A. is going to come in handy and obviously the Baby Dragon will as well. So I'm going to try and chip him down here. He's probably going to drop the Goblin Gang which is going to be really irritating for me. Okay, so Bandit actually did really well for me there. And uh, he's not really gained too much of a damage lead. So obviously Pekka is going to be really key here in this exchange. And I want to keep him alive as much as possible for when I send in the Miner. And I'm guessing... Yeah, I'm going to send in the Log. Because then the Pekka becomes even more of an issue for him and takes out the Night Witch. So Pekka again. Bad Dark Goblin placement actually. But that's not to worry too much. Um, so he's going to want to use a Minion Horde I feel or something like that. So what we're actually going to do is <laughs> throw everything at him here. Pekka is in, Bandit is in, Dark Goblin, Miner, he's got his Night Witch. Um, Baby Dragon looks like it might... Ah, no. Okay, fair enough. So I'm going to throw the uh, the Goblin Gang at him here. And then get the Baby Dragon down. And obviously he's going to go for a Minion Horde on top of his... Um... Oh, I, didn't... I thought he was going to throw a minion horde on top of his um, giant there, but obviously didn't fancy that. So minion horde is not going to do anything for him here, really. And this is a really, really close game. So obviously I don't want to drop down my... Um, my Pekka preemptively because that could be a real issue for me. Just making sure with the bandit there. Well played. This guy's playing really well. So I couldn't. <laughs> I didn't have a baby dragon. I didn't have a baby dragon, guys. So we got 12 wins and then 11. So we're just going to speed through this next one. And um, what do we get? Musks, both musks, uh, hog, but not too bad at all, guys. 12 wins and then 11. I've been playing for ages. Uh, I'll probably just show whichever games I feel were the best and showed the deck the best as well. Definitely give this deck a try. It's really beastly. I've been really enjoying playing it. Obviously, the Pekka is not really a meta card right now. So, uh, yeah, give it a go and let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Uh, subscribe to join the Groge Army and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.